guys, I'm Christina Sundari and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a beauty video. I'm actually here in Santa Monica and I'm filming in the Ipsy Open Studios. It's so nice to actually like film in a studio because uh, yeah, if so much more space and for once you guys are actually not looking at my handbags, you can actually just focus on me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Just go ahead and hit that red button down below. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like it and make sure to hit the, bleh, hit the bell so that you get email notifications anytime I post a new video. As I started my career as a model, I realized how important it was for me to learn how to do my own makeup just because getting it done all the time just takes a lot of time. Um, it costs a lot of money and it's just kind of a huge inconvenience sometimes. There's so much value when you're able to show up at a shoot and just know how to do it on your own. You save so much time, you save money, and you save a lot of headaches, and everybody on the set loves you because you just saved them a ton of trouble. So I love being able to do my own makeup, and this is actually the look that I do for most of my fitness and swim shoots. So it's really, really natural. It's really, really easy to do. It's really quick. So literally when I have a shoot in the morning, I take maybe 30 minutes tops to create this look as well as do my hair. So it's really easy and I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process. So let's hop into it. First, we're gonna be starting with foundation. Oh shit, no, I'm not. I'm starting with brows. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow. This is actually shade five, but I just found out that Benefit now has shade 4.5, which is a much better shade for me. So in case you, look like me, then I would highly recommend 4.5. I can't see anything on this mirror. What is going on? Yeah, we don't need that. For my brows today, I'm gonna be going in with Gimme Brow, and this is also by Benefit Cosmetics, and it's also in shade five. After I work out, I don't generally like to wear a ton of makeup just because I feel like my skin is super clean. I just sweated out all this dirt and grime and whatever other nasty stuff is in my body. So I like to just do a sunscreen, mascara, brow gel, and a lip gloss. Brows are done. Now I'm gonna be jumping into the face. And first I'm gonna be going in with a face primer. So the reason why I start with a primer is to make sure that my makeup lasts. I really like this one for my skin because I have combination skin and I feel like this formula really helps to suck up that oil and smells amazing. And then I like to work it into my T-zone just because those are the areas that get the most oily. So I'll work it into my nose, um, down on my chin, and then my forehead, and then I kind of spread the rest around my face. I'm gonna be using the Healthy Elixir Foundation from CoverGirl. And I hadn't used a drugstore foundation in a while. The last one that I used was the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which I really like, but now it's super light, so it doesn't match me anymore. I just came back from Belize, as a lot of you guys know, and it was seriously one of the most amazing vacations I'd ever taken. So I went with Surf Yoga Beer, which is an, a fitness adventure company that is based in New York. It was actually founded by a friend of mine from high school. Mantis, and he asked me to go on this trip. He was like, I thought that you would have a lot of fun and it would, and we're going to Belize, you know, like what's there not to enjoy. And Belize has been on my bucket list for so many years. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go. I mean, like, why not, you know? So I didn't know anyone who was on this trip. It was literally 17 strangers. And um, yeah, we, we just worked out, we partied, and it was just like nonstop fun and adventure. So I loved it. And I also tanned like crazy. So <laughs> all my foundations that normally match me for the course of the year, um, yeah, don't match me anymore. So that's, that's okay. But this was the only foundation that did. So I was like, you know what? I don't feel like really going out and getting a foundation right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. And I really like it because it has a number of different um, vitamins in here. So it's not just a foundation, but it's also, um, it's also got sunscreen, it's got SPF 20. So this is great for people like me that's always outside and in the sun and you know, all that fun stuff. We're gonna be going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm in the shade Caramel. I talk about this concealer a lot. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of the only one I use between ice, oh my gosh, I did not blend my nose. Why didn't anybody say anything? <laughs> you know what I'm actually gonna do? I do wanna highlight a little bit because I am gonna be contouring a little bit. So for that, what I do is I just put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit in the middle of my nose, a little bit underneath, and just a dab on the chin. And basically what we're doing is we're highlighting the 
highest points of your face. So think about it like if you were looking um, into some sort of like a light. So the light will cast on certain parts of your face and the rest is all shadows. So that's the way I like to think about it whenever I contour because you want it to look as natural as possible. So you want to just kind of envision like a light was being cast on your face. Next, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna blend all of that out. So just going underneath my eyes very carefully, I'm just gonna pounce that into the skin. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna do one more step on the face and then I'm going to go to the eyes. First, I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? The Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder. So I did a collaboration with Charlotte Tilbury a couple months ago when they launched at Sephora and they sent me this huge PR package of a ton of their products. This was actually my favorite. Reason being is this powder just melts into the skin. You don't need a whole lot of it. So I just take it on a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E34, but you can use just any brush as long as it's fluffy. Um, but this isn't like super fluffy, so it's not a blush brush, but then it's not um, a really dense kabuki brush. It's just kind of like, it's like slightly fluffy, I would say. Fluffy, but still kind of stiff. So <laughs> whatever brush you have is perfect. And then all I do is I just do a little swivel and then I tap off the excess and then I just lightly dust it all over my face. And you always want to set your face after you put on foundation or concealer, any liquid products with a powder product because that's going to ensure that everything is set in and that it lasts for the entire day or evening. This is my absolute favorite eyeliner in the entire world. And it is the Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Blitz Brown from Pat McGrath Labs. If you haven't used any of the products from Pat McGrath's collection, oh my gosh, you need to get on it. Literally everything in her collection is amazing. This eyeliner just glides onto your eyes like butter. It doesn't get, it doesn't tug, it doesn't get stuck, and then it doesn't, it's not hard to blend. It's so easy to blend because it's kind of like a gel consistency. The way I like to start is with the outer corners. So just lightly taking the pencil, I'm gonna carefully draw a line onto my bottom lash line. And then when I get the depth that I want, I'm just gonna carefully blend that. And then I usually blend it inwards, but you don't wanna blend too much because you don't wanna take the color off. So I just go very, very lightly with my ring finger. Now that I've done the bottom, I'm going to carefully line the top lash line. I'm not gonna go too heavy on the top because I literally just want like a very, very sheer shadow. I want it to look like I have more lashes. So the focus isn't so much the eyeliner, so that's why I'm gonna show you. I literally just carefully line the lash line with just very, very light strokes. And then again, taking my ring finger, I'm just gonna carefully blend it out. And then I'm gonna move it this way this time, just cause I feel like that's what works for me. So when it comes to applying eyeliner, people ask me all the time, oh, what's the correct way to do it? There really is no correct way. I've watched a thousand beauty videos and everybody has a slightly different technique when it comes to doing eyeliner, when it comes to doing eyeshadow. You kind of just have to play around with it and see what makes, you have to see what's the most comfortable for you because nobody knows your face the way you do. So one technique for me might work for you or it might not, but the best way to find out if it's going to work is to practice. That's it, that's all I do for eyeliner. Now I'm gonna be going with mascara and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara. It's literally my absolute favorite right now. I cycle through my favorites, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. This is my favorite right now. I do also love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I do love the Dior show, but yeah, I'm like so hooked on this right now. I'm gonna be hooked on it until I need to throw it away. <laughs> Because this, is a bleh. because this is a tutorial, it is going to take me a little bit longer, but on good days, this look actually takes me under 15 minutes. I was having dinner with my friend Elaine and her husband, and she asked me, how long does it take to do your makeup? And I said, oh, I, I can do it pretty quick, like in 15 minutes. And then she looks at him and she's like, honey, see, quick is 15 minutes. When I'm not in a rush, I like to give myself an hour to do hair and makeup, just because sometimes I feel like it's, so relaxing, like I'm so relaxed when I do my hair and makeup. So sometimes I like to give myself a little bit of extra time. So I, you know, like if I wanted to change an eye color or if I wanted to, you know, put on false lashes or if I wanted to do something a little bit different, sometimes it helps to have a little bit of extra time. 
because I feel like whenever I am pressed for time, then I get super stressed out and then I make mistakes and I'm like, I just can't do this. I get a lot of anxiety when that happens too. So I would say if you know you're gonna do a complicated makeup look, then give yourself more time. If you're traveling, then I personally really like looks like this because it means you don't have to pack as much. So literally I don't even have an eyeshadow on, on my desk right now. We're gonna go back to the face and we're going to do a little bit of contouring. So I just like to powder contour just because like I said, I don't like to wear tons and tons of makeup on a regular basis. And especially during photo shoots too, I feel the most comfortable when my face is nice and clean and polished. So we're just gonna do a powder and I'm gonna be using this little three pan trio from Makeup Forever. So the name of this shade, I actually don't know, but it's like, it's like a really ashy brown. I wanna say it's like the darkest shade of brown that they have. So I'm just gonna take an angled contouring brush and this one is from Sigma. It's the soft angled contour in uh, F23. I really, really love this brush. I actually kind of bought it on a whim and I didn't really know what it did. And then I didn't use it for months because I was like, I don't even know what I was thinking. I think some somebody told me to get it and then I just didn't use it. But then all my contouring brushes were dirty. So I was like waiting for them to dry. And then I was like, oh, well, what about that contouring brush? And then I used it and I was like, oh my God, I'm hooked. And I make this face <laughs> whenever I contour because that's how I can see the natural angle of my cheek. So when I do this, you could see that that is actually the natu most natural spot on my cheek where I can insert a little bit more shadow. That's that. Now, where's my highlighter? Oh, we're gonna go into highlighting which I get a little highlighter happy sometimes and my face is literally glowing. And it's funny because like I have combination skin, right? So my skin is not only glowing from the highlighter, but it's glowing naturally too. So it's just like a big fat disco ball. So taking a fan brush, I am just going to lightly dip into this highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics. And this is the shade Blissful. I actually found this shade when I was at Gen Beauty earlier this year. And it's just a really pretty like rose gold. And then on brown skin, it just melts in as like a bronze. It looks so good. Now with photo shoots, I don't like to go too heavy on the highlighter because I don't want... <laughs> That's not the focus of the shoot. <laughs> it's not makeup, it's usually always fitness or fashion. So I like to go really, really light on the highlighter just to give the skin a really natural kind of sheen because the skin does have a natural glow in the sun anyway. So I just do it very, very lightly. And the thing is with this particular highlighter from Ofra is that it is very, very pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot, but yeah, I love it. And that's pretty much all I do. Very, very light. Now, if I was going to a party, then that's a different story. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rose de Oro. I'm using that on a Morphe E4 blush brush, which is actually a really, really good blush brush. I actually got this tip from Jaclyn Hill, if any of you guys follow her, but um, she swears by this brush, and I can see why it's awesome. Oh, so pretty. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? because I am. But normally, after I contour, I like to add a little bit of bronzer just to warm up the face. My face is already pretty warm just because I have a nice tan from Belize, but I'm gonna go ahead and bronze it up anyway. So I actually forgot about this, but this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep, which they just came out with actually. It's a, it's a newer shade and I'm actually really happy about this. I love seeing beauty brands really grow their collections to include all skin tones because that is what needs to happen. I'm not gonna put on a whole lot just because I want it to be a very, very light, light toastiness on the face. We're gonna finish it up with the lips. So I'm going to be first going in with this lip liner slash lipstick. What is this? Plump Line Lip Liner from Buxom Cosmetics. And it's in the shade Hush Hush. So I've never used this shade before, but I didn't feel like bringing the original lip liner I was supposed to bring because I wanted to try something new. So let's see how it goes. First impression right now, I've never used this lip liner before. So let's see how it goes. See, it's not even sharpened. This is literally a brand new lip liner. So you guys are seeing it first. 
You guys, I am literally obsessed with this shade right now. It is literally the exact same shade as my lips. Like talk about a natural lip color and you guys all got to witness it. So yeah, this is the shade Hush Hush from Buxom Cosmetics. I'm a huge fan. I was actually gonna put a lipstick over this, but I really like how this looks. I'm just gonna leave it. I'll top it off with the gloss, how about that? So I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Cosmetics Lip Glass in the shade Bountiful, which I love because it's like a pink gloss with silver glitter in it. So if you want your lips to pop, then it's just like a really, really pretty lip gloss. Perfect. We are now photo shoot ready. Now I'm just gonna top everything off with this all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay Cosmetics. And this is literally my favorite. I say literally a lot. I have three full bottles that are sitting at home that are just waiting for me to tap into, so. Usually I do about three sprays. Ooh, got a little dizzy there for a second. <laughs> and this is today's finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how I do my makeup and hair for photo shoots. My hair today, I literally just straightened it. I didn't want to do anything too crazy, but this is how I do my makeup for photo shoots. I get asked this all the time, so I thought, okay, finally I need to do this tutorial for you guys. And it was super easy to create. And I try to use a mixture of drugstore products as well as department store products, so you can get all of this stuff at a pretty reasonable price. I did talk a lot about the Sigma brushes, which I personally really love. They're the quality is so good, and especially around the holiday time too, they always do sales. So I would say that they're a really, really good investment, all of them. I will make sure to link all the products down below as well as all of the brushes that I use down below so that you guys can recreate this look on your own. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm Christina Sundari. Have a wonderful day.